Hello crafty friends, I'm Lean from Studio Kato and I'm so glad you're joining me again today. Today's Christmas card only took me 15 minutes to make and I used my favorite inking technique of the moment. I call it ink cube stamping, I'm not sure what it's called but that's how I call it in my head. Now I'm going to do this inky technique on some die cut pieces and to hold them in place I am putting down a piece of tape face up or sticky side face up and uh, just taping down the corners of that tape and then I can lay on my die cut pieces. I die cut these pieces with the tree die by Reverse Confetti. These make up a really gorgeous abstract Christmas tree and I am going to give them some color with my Reverse Confetti ink cubes. I used four different colors of ink for this and I will list them down below but I am just lightly stamping them on, them on making sure I am going from light to dark just so I don't cross contaminate my ink pads. And by not pressing the ink cube down too hard onto the cardstock, you get this really cool texture from the felt of the ink cube onto the paper. It's really fun to do and you can easily make backgrounds like this as well, but I figured I would use it as a focal point today. And now I can already start assembling my card. I am propping a separate panel, slightly smaller than my A2 sized card base, up onto a piece of cardboard. I really like this as a dimensional because it is really sturdy, but it's lighter than stacking several pieces of cardstock together. I'm putting these pieces of the tree down a little bit wonky on my card and I really like that look. It gives a little bit more interest to this tree, I think. And I am just making sure that I have a little bit of space for my sentiment. I could just adhere this sentiment on top of the tree or over top of it, but I just wanted to stretch my tree a little taller and this is how I did it. Now I stretched it a little bit too tall, so I'm just taking off some pieces and rearranging them. Uh, but the tip of my tree will still hang off on uh, hang off over that smaller panel that I propped up. And with all the pieces of my tree nicely arranged, I can work on my sentiment. And this is the piece or the layered piece die by Reverse Confetti. And I die cut each layer three times. I die cut two extra pieces of thick white cardstock for each layer, and that will give some nice sturdy dimension to it. So for the shadow layer, I use a holographic gold cardstock for my top layer. And for the scripty layer, I am just using three layers of white cardstock. And I'm adhering all of that together with the Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. I got a couple of smudges of ink on my panel and I'm just erasing these with the Mono Tombow Sand Eraser. This is a great tool for your craft room because I get inky fingerprints on all of my projects basically and this will take care of those no problem. Now obviously I had to add some blink to this card and what's a Christmas tree without baubles? So I added some gold metallic pearls, these are from Pinkfresh Studio and I am using a jewel picker to arrange them on my Christmas tree. You could also add some red sequins or red pearls that would be gorgeous as well. I wanted to keep this one quite muted. I just wanted to keep gold and green as the only colors on my card. Now I make a lot of non-traditional Christmas cards, especially Christmas cards with a non-traditional color palette. And I realized I had very few green Christmas cards. So that's why I made the tree green, not because a tree is supposed to be green. I usually would go for a pink tree that would be really fun or a rainbow. Why not go rainbow? Um, you really don't have to stick to the traditional Christmas color palette. Now I'm adhering all of these uh, gems, pearls, embellishments with the Nouveau Deluxe liquid adhesive. 
It's a really strong glue and I really love it for adhering down embellishments. For my envelope, I am just folding one out of white cardstock. This is the Claire Fontaine DCP 250 GSM cardstock, and I just folded an A2 sized envelope with my VR Memory Keepers 123 punch board. I'm adhering the bottom flap together, and I'm using the Barely Art Precision Craft glue for that. To add some color to this envelope, I will be working on the front of the envelope and I'm using the same ink cubes as I did on the tree. And I'm doing the same inky technique. I am just going wild and stamping those ink cubes straight to the paper to get a fun little uh, bright colored corner on my envelope. And by the way, the surface you see me working on for any of my inking techniques is just a laminated sheet of white cardstock. It's great for ink blending and it cleans right off with a wet cloth, so it's perfect for any inking techniques like this. And if some inks stain it, you can just make a new one. It's perfect. That's my 15 minute Christmas project all done. Matching envelope and card all together only took me 15 minutes to make. This is a perfect card for mass producing. I really loved making it and I really love the finished result as well. I hope you do too. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to read them. I love chatting with you guys in the comments, especially if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask them. I will always answer them. And as always, if you're curious about any of the products I used in today's video, make sure you check the description in the video description down below to see my product list for any more details on my card you can also head over to the reverse confetti blog i will have a blog post up there as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time